Hi everyone, how are you? So today I thought it was time to do an empties video. The last one that I did was at the beginning of October, so it's been two months since I've done one, and I think that I have quite a few of empties products to show you guys. It was no by November for me during the month of November, so I kind of focused on using what I had and trying some samples and different things like that. So I'm just going to jump into it, tell you guys what I used up, and let you know if I would repurchase it. Right, so the first thing that I used up was a Bath & Body Works candle. I know this isn't a beauty product, but I like to include it because I make videos including these. So this one was Dark Chocolate Mint, and it was from last year or two years ago. This one smells so good, and I actually haven't checked out their winter candle candles yet because I've been on a no buy so I hope they have one similar to this because it smells so good and I'm sad that I used it all up. I also used a cider donut which this has been my favorite fall candle. I have one left because I purchased two of them so I'm excited that I still have it but it smells so so good. So on to makeup. I used this Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in the color Sand Beige which I only had a little bit of this left but this is probably one of my favorite foundations. I've been using the CoverGirl foundation ever since I purchased it but I do love this foundation. I would recommend it so much and I probably will go back to using it eventually but um, just in the meantime I've been loving the CoverGirl one but it's really really great. I also used up this Maybelline Super Stay Makeup Foundation in the color Sand Beige. I use this just to cover up any extra spots after I apply my foundation and my powder and it stays really well. I don't like it as like um, a foundation for all over my face because my skin's a little bit oily and I found that it didn't really stay as well as other foundations but I liked it and if you don't have oily skin it might work really well for you. I used it for a really long time so I have used it a lot and, you know, I would recommend I it. I used up two mascaras. The first one was the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which I went back in my collection and picked this up during No Buy November, and I love it. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I feel like it's a little bit better once it dries out a little bit because it's super wet and it can get clumpy easily, but I do like this. I probably won't repurchase it for a long time because I have plenty of mascaras I need to use, but it is a really good mascara. This one and the L'Oreal L'Oreal Telescopic are probably my favorite L'Oreal mascaras. Then I use this Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara, and I don't like this. I've been meaning to use this up. It's just a really dry formula. Since it is so dry, a lot of people like it, but I'm not a fan of dry mascaras. I really like wet mascaras, so I didn't really love this. I like the The Real Mascara Better by Benefit. This one's not my favorite, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you like dry mascaras, then it might work for you. The brush is nice. I did like using it for my lower lashes because the brush is so thick, and it just coats them really well so I was mostly using it for my lower lashes but I didn't like it for my upper lashes. I have a shampoo and a conditioner so I have the clear scalp hair and beauty therapy damage and color repair nourishing shampoo which I used this all up and I also have the conditioner from the same line. I did like these, but I am I haven't repurchased them. I'm trying out a new shampoo and conditioner, a sulfate-free one, which I really, really like. This one, I bought it specifically for my scalp because my scalp is so sensitive, but I kind of feel like it made my hair a little bit dry, which I want my scalp to be healthy, but I don't want my actual like ends to be dry, so I probably wouldn't repurchase them. I did like them for my scalp. But, you know, they did have a bad effect on my hair. So I wouldn't repurchase those, but they were good while I used them. Let me them. get the rest of my hair products out of the way. So I used this sample from Miss Jessie's, which was Creme de la Creme, the best darn conditioners, period, or... Um, I don't know if that's the name of it, but it was like a conditioning treatment. You can use it as a regular conditioner or leave it on your hair a little bit longer for a conditioning treatment, which I really like this. I felt like it did moisturize my hair, not as well as I would have hoped. I have a feeling that it is a little bit pricey compared to like a drugstore hair mask, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. My hair is naturally curly, not super curly, so I don't know if it was really meant for my type of hair, but it, it was okay. I just wouldn't repurchase I it. I used up this drugstore hair mask by L'Oreal, the total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm, which I have a video on this where I said that it is really comparable to the Macadamia hair mask. I really liked it. I have to admit I dropped half of this down the drain, which I hate when that happens, but it was really good. It's probably the best drugstore hair mask that I've ever used, and you can mix it with a little bit of oil to give your hair a lot of extra moisture. I did like it. I think that I probably will repurchase it. I think I might go back to my Macadamia because I like it a little bit more, and it's buy one get one half off at Target right now, but 
I did like this. I think it's a really great drugstore mask. Next, I have my Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. I liked this so much that the second my no-buy ended, I purchased it off of the Birchbox website. It smells really good, and it actually does 10 things, like detangles, protects, does like a whole lot of things, and it really um, detangled my hair really well, which is nice because I have a super tangly hair, and I've also been needing a good protectant, like a heat protectant, so I purchased this. I really, really like it, and I would recommend it for sure. And then I used a John Frieda Frizzies Firm Hold Hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray. I like it because it works really well, but it's not like too, it doesn't make your hair crunchy. So I just had a travel size that I used up, and I would repurchase it. I purchased it a bunch of times. My last makeup product was this eyelash glue by Kit. I think it's the ever pure or the ever pro I can't read it because I rub it off the label but it's amazing it's my favorite eyelash glue it dries so quickly and then it just helps your lashes stay in place all day long I love it I love it so much I've been using a different one which I don't love as much but I have to get another one of these because I used it all up so then on to skincare. I have a couple of skincare products. The first one is this Garnier Skin Renew Dark Spot Corrector. I literally used every last drop of this up. It is so good. It's my favorite daily moisturizer. I'm out of it and I was on No By November so as you'll see in a minute I was just using like samples but it's really really great. I'm definitely going to repurchase it because it works really well. I find that it does help fade my dark spots and I just really like it. And then the last thing I used is from Clinique and it's the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and I liked this. It was like a nice lightweight moisturizer but it wasn't my favorite. I didn't really think that it was better than my Garnier one so I probably will not repurchase this. And the last thing I used up were these Jean-Pierre Cosmetics Oil Absorbing Facial Tissues and they were just oil blotting sheets but I really liked them. I liked them a lot better than other oil blotting sheets I've tried in the past so I would repurchase them and I liked the case they came in because it wasn't just one of those like cardboard cases that you open. I kind of sped through that video really quick. I hope that I didn't go too quickly but I had a lot of products that I wanted to get through without making the video too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you used up in November or what you've just used up recently. I like empties videos because I like to know if people are going to repurchase the products or, you know, it's fun, always fun to see what people use Especially up. Especially when it comes to makeup because makeup literally takes me forever to use. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I have lots of fun videos and giveaways coming up in December, so stay tuned. If you have any video requests, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.